So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, episode 42 of the Master League series, and uh, yeah, we've got some big news of course, if you didn't see the last episode, we got rid of a big player in Richarlison, I know, I know, but he just, just didn't do the business guys, you know, and, and this is all about building a squad, so we sold him, and we snapped up Klosterman, there he is right there, yet to live up to his price tag, he's only played one game. Uh, and then we also picked up that man, Shalov, who apparently settled in nicely. Doesn't really make sense. But anyway, for today, we're going to get right into the gameplay because all the transfers are done. So two matches back to back for Aston Villa, who are lying in 14th place. And then we've got Newcastle, who are lying in 17th. And then after that, it gets a little bit tasty because we've got Liverpool in the FA Cup and we're going to be facing them again in a few weeks later because we've got Norwich, then Club Bruges, and then Liverpool again. And then it gets crazy. Tottenham, Man City, Chelsea, all around the corner. So this is where we've got to pick up the results. Now, we are going to be playing on the same gameplay mod. I'm going to test this out again. It was difficult. I'm not going to lie. I found it quite difficult. But I also thought I rushed a lot in the last game. I do it often, and I have to stop doing it, which is just sprinting too much. I like to sprint a lot. I like quick counters... But you can't necessarily do that on manual. You, you have to kind of work it around. So that's what we're going to try and do today. Now, I was in two minds as to whether I was going to be playing a 4-5-1 or a 3-5-2. But because of the way the player's forms are, I'm not going to be going for a 4-5-1. We are going to stay with a 3-5-2. Now, I know Aston Villa are playing a 4-3-3. They're going to pin me back. But I'm hoping with us playing a 3-5-2, it will give us that little bit of extra in the final third. Because as you can see, the likes of Babu's down... So, you know, he won't be playing on the wings. Uh, Luigi's down today, Ospina as well, and uh, Barrios. So we can't really play him as a DMF. Uh, but this is what we are going to go for. I'm going to make a quick change in, put, uh, actually put a goalie on the, on the bench in case something happens. But we're going to try this back line. Okay, I'm, I'm intrigued to see how this goes. We've got Tar, Mina, and Klosterman. Okay, we're going to have Mina as the middleman, Tar on the left, Mm, what's his... Okay, his non-dom foot is a three. Klosterman's is a two. Yeah, so we'll put Tar on the left. Klosterman on the right. This is a very tall, rock-solid, strong, powerful back line. If there are any corners, all those three players are going up for it. And uh, you'd expect us to do something. All right, so there's the back line. I like the look of that. Then we're going to go for Allen. Not as a DMF. I don't like to put him as a DMF. He drops off stat-wise a little bit. And I don't know. You know what? We will start him as a DMF. Let's not get carried away. We'll start him as a DMF. Then David and Hamez. We're going to try those two together. They're very similar. But what with David being up for today's match? Want to give him a bash in there. Kulisevsky, a bit disappointing in the last game. You know, he gave away the goal pretty much. And we just didn't use him well. So we've got to be better with him. And then Villa on the left. And we're going to go for Marlon and Calvert-Lewin. Now, you may be thinking, why are we not starting Shalov? Because, number one, his form is neutral. Marlon is up for it. But he also has the super sub trait, which means today's the perfect time to bring him on around the hour mark and see what he can do. Because, as I say, Marlon's up for it. Calvert-Lewin's buzzing like crazy. We're going to whip those balls in, folks, and hopefully score some goals. So there's a look at Aston Villa. We've played them quite a few times this season. We did knock them out in the uh, FA Cup. I believe that was what it was. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, if you do enjoy it, smash the like button, folks. Let's dive into this one. We will give ourselves... Hmm, we can't really give ourselves the red. We could go blue. I'm going to go yellow because we won the last few matches wearing this. Not that it means anything, but you never know. You never know. All right. I'll see you guys there. So here we are live at the Villa Park. That's right. Taking on Aston Villa. And I'm intrigued with this gameplay mod again. You know, I, I don't think you can play one match with a gameplay mod and then be like, all right, it's the deciding factor. No, you've got to play it a couple of matches because in pairs, the AI is very inconsistent. You don't know what you're going to get, which is fine because it's more realistic than every team playing exactly the same way. But yeah, we've got to give it a few matches. If it's, if it's too much and... You know, the AI were very deadly. I'll say this much in the last game. Very, very deadly. Five shots, three goals. I don't really want that happening every match because, as I say, it's not really realistic. Especially if uh, you're Man United. 
how many chances they need to put the ball away, especially Martial. Anyway, here's a chance for Aston Villa. We've got to be careful that we don't go too gun ho early on and concede early as well. Well done, Mina. The camber now. Hurahane towards Ross Barkley. David, what are you doing there? Fell right on his backside. Ball's fed out wide. Target. Kulisevsky's missed it. Back towards him and, uh, well, missed that one completely. And fortunately, it ran past everyone. All right, it's all about taking our time today. Let's possess the ball when we can possess it. Play football when we can play it. And try and create something. Kosterman gets a second goal that one. Kulisevsky with a nice little turn. Now we can feed that one inside. David, let's dink that one over. Hmm, nearly dinked it over, but not quite. Now it's Hudahane. The camber. Looking for that ball over the top. Allen's uh, going to get there. Well done, Allen. Good covering, son. And we'll give that one back towards Olsen. And uh, Olsen is finding no one. And luckily, neither is Traore. Right, Calvert Lewin. You're up top today to win the headers. That's what you're up there for. And we'll see if we can kind of bounce things off of Marlon. Is he offside there? No, he's not. Right, this is the chance now. Kulisevsky. And Marlon wants it again. He has found Marlon. Lays it across. James is there. And that will do. Fantastic, boys. Lovely, jubbly. Nice little quick counter there. It wasn't really a counter, but it was kind of a counter. Don't care. James Rodriguez is there for the finish. And this was just nice play. Up the line by Kulu. Finds Marlon. Just sort of puts it in the hole. And then Hammers from there. I mean, you can see Calvert-Lewin was blocking his view. Smart play by Calvert-Lewin because he wasn't offside. And the reason why the goalie's completely missed this is because, yeah, look at that. Calvert-Lewin right in front of the goalie and uh, he puts him off. Hurahane. I mean, this is how it would be on Legend, honestly. If you're playing on Legend, you'd just literally be sitting back, soaking up the pressure, trying not to concede, and then when you get a chance to counter them, you're off. See, Kulisevsky's doing well right now, just to close them down. Here is Barkley. We just don't want to pull players out of position, but we don't need to. We'll let Allen go to that one. Well done, Allen. Gets a foot onto it. Back to Grealish. Don't really want him to strike it. Nakamba with a chance. And David, come on, ref. I'll take the short one, because it wasn't even a foul. Well, they haven't taken the short one, and the foul's been given. For what, ref? For what? Well, it's going to be Hudahane. I mean, we'll move the goalie anyway, so if he does hit the target, then he'll probably make the save. Well done, Alan. Well done. Here we go. Another chance to break here with Calvert-Lewin. Via. Well, just swing that round the other way, because Marlon's got some pace. Go on, Marlon. Ah, get it down. Ah, just couldn't quite judge the pass there. Now, David's not going to win the headers. He's not wise in the middle today. We've gone for a more technical a more technical midfield. Here is Watkins. Lays it outside. Grealish. And that's delivered back post. And Tar. Tar, give me a heart attack there. Lovely little flick by David. And away we go with Villa. Right, we've got Hammers in the middle. Swing that round to uh, Klosterman. Hammers. All right, now we'll start dictating the game a little bit more. Give it back towards Klosterman. You're not going to push him off the ball. And we'll start again with Mina. I mean, yeah, it can be risky playing three at the back when you are playing a 4-3-3. A three, three. But, you know, I think there's enough quality there at the back for us to, to stop Villa from abusing what they have saying that that's a good ball to Watkins now I need someone else to go across because I don't want to cover and Tar's done exceptionally well and uh, Calvert-Lewin has done brilliantly well himself to win the header and away we go now Calvert-Lewin wants this and it's a lovely looking pass towards him and it's an exceptional touch lays it across Marlon oh you beauty ha <laughs> ha what, what a goal and this is all stemmed from Calvert-Lewin's ability to win a header, get the ball down, smart little play. Look at this turn from Marlon. Bang, bang. Oh, oh, it's disgustingly disgusting. Here it is, ladies and gents. There's the header. Oh, no, that wasn't the header. That was the ball over the top. Got it down. Fed this across. And this skill here is exceptional. And then bang, first time. Lovely. 
Look at that face. Look at the goalie's face. He's baffled. So, two goals to the good. I wasn't expecting that for a start, but we will definitely take that one all day. Still plenty of time to spare, and we are still playing a little bit defensive, and as you saw there, we had the ability to quickly counter Aston Villa, and this is the difference when you have players that are up for it. We were thinking, should we go for Shalov up top? No, we've gone for Marlon, and to be fair, the guy has got an assist and a goal. And as Traore now finds Hudahain. Well done, Kulisevsky. This is more like it, lads. You're feeling the vibe in this game. Now Marlon's away. Calvert-Lewitt, Marlon again. Let's flick that one off to uh, Kulisevsky. What have we got, Kulisevsky? Not a lot on, is there? It's not a lot on. Back towards Allen. Feed to the cross, David. No, no, David. That's that's not the pass that we wanted. That's going to be comfortable for Klosterman. And away we go again. We need these matches. You know, these are warm-up matches for that Liverpool game to come because that's going to be the real tough one as David has a chance. It was a fine, exceptional challenge there. Allen gets a toe onto it. Still got to be careful, though, of uh, Aston Villa coming forward. Barkley feeds that one in. Klosterman's missed here. Blimey, if that was anywhere else other than straight at the goalie, that's a goal. I mean, what a ball in this is by Barkley. And he struck this as clean as a whistle. Yeah, there's definitely not as many fouls in this, in this mod. Um, which I think fouls are okay if I was playing this off camera. But I don't feel like you guys want to see tons of fouls when you're, you're kind of watching, you know, highlights in a match itself. It's too much stop and start, stop and start. All right, Villa. Hamis back to Villa again. Calvert-Lewin wants it. All right, well, no one wants to move. Well done, Villa. Finally, you do want to move. Let's get in the box now. Villa is going to deliver, and uh, it's a corner. All right, we're going to whip this one in once again, looking for Mina. I really need the other players just to get in the box, because Mina's... Well, he's not going to win that header, is he? But anyway, we are going to have a volley here from Kulisevsky, and... All right, not bad. The old right foot. Sometimes you just got to strike the ball. Yeah, didn't didn't even hesitate, and it was a good effort as well. All right, another corner, and this time we're just going to smash this in here. Just going to fire it in and see what kind of delivery we have. Towards Mina! Oh, off the line, but a goalie! And Mina missed the second chance. Comes back to Hannes, and that's a penalty. It's got to be a penalty, and he's given a penalty. <laughs> Could be three goals to nil here before half-time. Could be, that's the big question, but it's all gone wrong for Aston Villa. Here was the challenge. Have another look at it. I mean, that... Oh, my goodness. He could have broke his leg. Could have broken his leg. Don't know what he's complaining at. It's a shocker. Well, we're going to let Hamez take this one. I mean, where do we go? Do we go? Last time we went bottom corner, and it seemed to work. So, I think we go... I mean, I've absolutely wailed this one. So, hopefully, Hamez does the business. Yes, he does. Too much power. And the Colombian has his second... Everton's third wasn't really expecting this today I really wasn't was not expecting this kind of a start to the match but credit where it is that's a, a shocking challenge it really is quite reckless and it was a cool calm penalty and the goalie yeah too much power I think today I've just played a little bit smarter than that last match where it's just all over the place Anyway, here is Traore. He'll obviously want to whip this one in. Nice little run by him. Taking on David as well. He's still going here, Traore. And in the end, it was just too much dribbling. It's like watching myself. And now he can break here with Marlon. Flicks it on to Kulisevsky. And this is one thing we have got, is the pace coming forward. Marlon. Calvert-Lewin. Back to Marlon. It's all too good. And So, second half begins. We've made no changes. Aston Villa have made a change. McGinn comes on. McGinn. Is it McGinn or McGinn? I'm going to say McGinn. Anyway, he's coming on. Uh, unsurprisingly, I don't think that was a, a surprise that they've made the change. I mean, we had six attempts in the first half. Banged in three of them. Granted, one was a penalty. Aston Villa had, I think, three. All right, Villa. I was going to lay it off. Decided against it. Now get in the box, boys. Get in the box towards Marlon. Oh, my goodness me. This is mental. 
Four goals to nil. What can you say? W what's going on here? After the last match against Bournemouth getting mullered and then Sebastian Villa, lovely ball in. I mean, this is just ridiculously inviting. I mean, all you have to do is get your big forehead on it and it's hitting the old onion bag and that's exactly what's happened. The old L1 cross is a beauty. Two goals for that man. Four in his last three games. Pointing it clear, looking for Marlon. I mean, how good is Marlon in the air? Is he good in the air? I he scored. Has he scored two headers now? I think he just scored the one. Now, I don't think the other goals he scored were headers. Yeah, two was a tap in. Can't remember. And the other goal, yeah, it was a nice. So, yeah, he scored one header, but... Anyway, here is Traore. He does fizz it in. That's too close to Olsen. Hammers gets up well, and away we go. Marlon just dropping off into the space. Sebastian Villa looking for Calvert-Lewin. Unlucky Calvi. Here is Traore. I probably will leave. Traore is just trying too much today. He's dribbling, 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 and it's not working for him. But I probably will leave Calvert-Lewin on and take off Marlon. In a, in a short while let's play that one through the middle lovely pass now let's switch that round the other way looking for Veer, who does nod it back towards him Calvert-Lewin has he got the strength no he hasn't Nakamba oh, well done Alan that is how you read a pass different class from Alan but Aston Villa say no time for us to get the ball back and a chance to break and there's Klosterman the big man with a comfortable nod back to Olsen uh, and away we go again we just need to keep playing right now can't complain about the boys' performance. But we can if we concede a goal. Big deflection. Grealish does float one in, but uh, Kulisevsky's there. And now we've got a chance to break it. Hammers wanted to lay that out for about three minutes, but he didn't want to do it. All right, Grealish. Up against Kulu. Does fire one in. Mina gets it away. We have crossed the hour mark, so the next time the ball goes off, we will make a change. And that will be now. Let's make that change. So we are going to take Marlon off. I know he could get a hat trick, but we're going to rest him. Bring on Shalov and Dinya as well. Calvert-Lewin through the middle. Flicks it off to Shalov. He finds Kulisevsky. Inside to Hamez once again. Kulisevsky back to Hamez. It's working now nicely. Here is Dinya, and he's got a good left foot if he has the ability to swing this in. He has! Oh, shaky, shaky keeping. Aston Villa clear it. David, David, one or the other. Well, this is going to be a chance for Kulisevsky and... Dinya. Good play, Dinya. That's, uh, that's smartly done. And we'll just start that again with Clusterman there. No need to panic. Swing it round to David, and then we'll say to Tar, why don't you get forward a little bit? Dinya, right, Calvert-Lewin, go away Given goes on Lovely, nicely done Drill that one towards the near post ah. Shalov was available Just needed to be sort of Fired away from the goalie there That's a poor pass And Ty will pick it up As, uh, Towards Mina Flosterman, I mean this was my main thing As I said at the beginning of the last video I wanted to solidify the defence Make it so that we're very, very solid at the back. Not always. It's not always going to happen because we're not always going to have Tar, Mina, Kosterman available as uh, Trezeguet comes on. But still, having those big players at the back, you've got to start from the back. You've got to start from the back. Build a foundation, go from there. Yes, we sold a Charleston, but is he a big loss when you're bringing in other players that are definitely capable of doing the job he did? I don't think so. You know, that's a good looking pass. Here is Trezeguet. Does fire that one in, and that's going to be comfortable for Olsen. But yeah, the, see, the AI today has been different. You know, as I said, you can't judge one gameplay mod or a gameplay mod on one match. You've got to give it a good few matches to test it out. Bournemouth were deadly in the last game, and Aston Villa today have just been contained. Maybe they got nervous. Anyway, here we go. Shalov, what are you doing there, mate? Sticking the foot out the wrong direction. Not great there, was it? Grealish feeds it off. Target. Starts again with McGinn. 
That's a good-looking pass, though. And that's a terrible touch, though. Let's make one more change. And the final change will take off the Swede and we'll bring on the Saar. See how he does. Anyway, here's Barkley. Looks to swing that round towards uh, Klosterman with a good ball. Come on, Klosterman. Stay on him. Stay on Wesley. There you go. Quality defending all day. And then he finds Calvert-Lewin. Now, this is a chance. Ref. Ref. Well, Calvert-Lewin's not having it. I mean, nice little animation there. I like to see that. Players sort of losing their balance and the foul not being given. More realistic. Anyway, here's Barkley. And Aston Villa have had a good fair amount of possession. But we're kind of playing like the AI. <laughs> and all the players behind the ball. And I'm literally saying, come on then, break us down. What on Shalov. Lovely one-two off the defender's face. Now, this is a chance here. Calvert-Lewin wants it. Play him now. That's a good-looking idea. I actually wanted to play that earlier, and I kept super-canceling on myself. So I'm sorry, Calvert. I wanted to play you in about 10 seconds before I did. Bit of a waste. Good header there by Hamez. Oh, referee. I mean, we're not even playing the ball now. Calvert-Lewin. Shalov. Look at that turn. Oh, we tried the old fake. Nearly worked. Alling went flying in as he loves to do. Here comes Watkins. The game's picked up a little bit here, hasn't it? It's picked up a little bit. It's all getting a little bit steamy. I don't know how the ref hasn't given a foul for that one. And uh, Ross Barkley's gone firing in himself. Here's Watkins now. One-on-one -on -one with Klosterman. Looks for Trezeguet. And uh, well done, Dinya. Nicely done. Give that one back to uh, Aston Villa. Because we're feeling kind. And here's Watkins. The camber. Barkley. Barkley again, looking to turn and finish, but not today. I mean, Shalovs keeps dropping off, but that's just the kind of player he is. Hamiz, that's a poor pass, boys. We've, we've switched off a little bit here, and I don't want to concede late. I don't want to concede late, please. And he's, well, don't give a penalty for that, ref. Surely no. Well, that's annoying. That's annoying. The only good thing out of that is Klosterman, I think, has a clean sheet bonus, so he won't get one. <laughs> So it's a little bit harsh. Mm, I I don't know where the foul is there, Ref. There was a tangle of legs. I mean, Mina initially won the ball. All right, it's 4-0. I'll let it slide. Maybe we can make the save here on this one. It's going to be Trezeguet. Hey! Love it that we finally made a convincing save from the penalty. This is a good save as well. Look at that. Right into the corner. Goalie still dive way too far, but... Nice penalty stop there, Olsen. Good job, son. And Kloston will be delighted because he might get an extra six grand, uh, six grand out of that with the clean sheet bonus. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. A 4-0 win at Villa Park. We will take that night and day. And hopefully push that into the next match against Newcastle United. So there we have it. Five attempts for them, eight attempts for us. Banged in four. We didn't have possession. We just didn't play that way today. It was all about countering, abusing what we can. And Marlon is your man of the match. Calvert Lewin also had a pretty good performance as well. So, any of the results go our way? Well, let's find out. Bournemouth won, Leeds four. So, you beat us, Bournemouth, and then you lose to Leeds. West Ham three, Fulham nil. Uh, Brighton two, less than nil. Newcastle one. Wolves 3, uh, Man United beat Norwich, but that's not a surprise. But look at that, Liverpool losing 1-0 to Southampton. How realistic is that? Pez knows the scores. <laughs> and then we've got Tottenham 1, Chelsea 4, Man City drawing with Arsenal, and Crystal Palace beating Watford. So, look at that. Chelsea, out of nowhere, have now jumped into third space. Uh, third place, space, place. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they were down at sixth or seventh at one point, but they have got some momentum we have got our goal difference up which is nice still five points behind united though and norwich still bottom fulham second bottom and newcastle third bottom or 19th and 18th if you're a normal person so there we have it newcomer marlin is topping expectations and uh keen says that this game is a whopper well that will be the big match against liverpool but anyway let's quickly have a look if there's any messages I don't understand Mina. He's always injured. Oh my god! And this is this is the problem, folks, of having players with injury of a one. Look at this. Mina's out. 
muscle inflammation. James has got muscle inflammation. And Klosterman, they've all suffered muscle inflammation. Maybe I'm going to have to start taking them off if we're leading. Well, that's ridiculous because now I can't play the same lineup or anything close to that uh, that I was going to play. So, yeah, a little bit frustrating. Uh, let's see who's up for today. I mean, now Marlon's down. Uh, are you going to go from one extreme to the other? We may have to go a 4 5 one. We'll see, uh, but we'll return to second. All right, folks. Well, yeah, but we are going to stick to this 3-5-2. I, I like it. I am liking the look of it right now. I know they're playing two up top, but I think that'll be all right. I still think we can abuse what we can. Uh, it's just a shame. I mean, look, of all these players that I have, and I've literally got six of them out or five of them out because I can't play Klosterman, Hamez, or Mina, Sars down, and Marlins down. This is why you need such a big roster in this game, because you don't know what's going to happen. But anyway, we're going to start Shalov and Calvert-Lewin. I know the problem now is Luigi's not getting much playing time, but it's getting... It's... As I say, it's going to get tough now with the end of the season drawing closer, and there's going to be more matches depending on what competition. So Luigi's still going to get playing time. And we've got David in the hole, Andre Gomez, and Alan. Uh, I think Alan, as a DMF, did quite well in the last match. Kulisevsky on the right. We're going to start Dinya on the left. I'm going to play Dinya because he has the pinpoint crossing trait. And he's he's a defensive worker as well, so it'll be up and down. Uh, and then we're going to go Holgate, uh, Tar, and then Mbabu. Mbabu just because he's got the speed, and uh, why not? Honestly, I wasn't impressed with Keane in the first match, the last few matches of the match before. Wasn't wasn't impressed with him. Not going to start him. So there we go. That's, that's as good as it's going to get. That is as good as it's going to get. Oh, yeah, and Villa's down as well. So sublime anyway there is newcastle they're playing just a 4-4-2 so okay i'm sure that will adapt and change accordingly as the match goes on but anyway this is a big one before we head on uh, to liverpool in the next episode so let's get this one out of the way and hopefully pick up the magic three points should we give them that kit or should we just give them the black and white we'll give them the traditional black and white all right hope you guys do enjoy it hope i enjoy it that's the main thing hope the lads do let's find out so we're back at our home turf for this one. Can we do the business again? I mean, 4 0 in the last match was, was mind blowing, but it's not the same lineup. There's no consistency of the lineups because you can't. And we got Mina injured, Klosterman's injured already, and Hammers as well. So if you lose today, we know why. Look at the afro on that guy. Ooh, it's an absolute majestically looking afro of the highest order. Anyway, let's dive right into this one. No messing about. Calvert-Lewin gets us underway. He's just got a new lease of life, Calvert-Lewin. I mean, he didn't score in the last match, no. But man, he's still created. He still caused problems. Him and Marlon worked tremendously well. And, uh, you know, we'll see what uh, Kulisevsky can do right now with the ball. But we'll see what uh, Shalov can do. Didn't get much time in the last match, but... At that point, we were playing very defensive. Anyway, here is Almiron. As he looks for that searching ball to Wilson, but couldn't find it. Dinya's not going to get there. Almiron once more. Does find Hendrik, who does float one in. And Babu with a really good header, actually. Come on, Dinya. Starting you today. Giving you, a, giving you a bit of a boost. Ball fed up the line. Good start this by Newcastle. Don't let him turn too much. And yeah, that's the best we're going to do is save in the corner to play that back to Shelby and we are eight minutes in here and I can't get a grip with the game can't get the ball right now Newcastle playing some good stuff all right here we go now a chance to break forward Kulisevsky towards uh, Calvert-Lewin with a death touch to find Dinya he's got David through the middle Shalov's gone near post but we are going to deliver this one in Shalov is there oh what a chance and Dinya with a sexy as you like pass oh unlucky Andre Gomez just trying to play that that's where having two up top though does help because you've got the ability to play it on feed it into him and just sort of let him try and hold the ball up Hendrik now does deliver one in and Babu gets up well he's been doing well on Babu with the headers now Kulisevsky look at the space here for Calvert-Lewin Shalov right Shalov what have you got what have you got Kulisevsky now lays it up the line it's much better football Someone's got to be there, but no. Why is it? I hate when they do that. I hate when they run into the... They run past the goal. 
I want someone to sit there and wait for the ball. Just sit on the six-yard box and tap it in. Job done. But no, this half seems to be going very, very slowly. Nice play again from Newcastle, but there's Holgate. I'll take that one. Ta towards Mbabu. So far, you know, defending pretty decent. All right, Kulisevsky's running away. All right, will you take him on? We will take him on. We'll take that ref, but no, we'll, we'll just play on. Gomez. Dinha, this is where the most trouble's coming for Newcastle, though, is, is down the flanks. Nothing wrong with that challenge. Although you never say no to a penalty. Oh, and Andre Gomez has stolen it. And Davies had a go. And you just expect more power there, wouldn't you? Expect a Wayne Rooney finish. Ooh, yellow card. Interesting decision there, ref. I don't know if it's yellow card worthy, but... I mean, I guess he, he flicked him off. So there is a change for Newcastle. Jonington's come on for Almiron. I thought Almiron played all right in the first half, but... Guess Steve Bruce, he decides against it. And away we go, though. Another 45 minutes left. I'm actually going to put David as a counter target now because, thinking about it, Newcastle really only have two centre mids. He's not really needed, to be honest, to get back. So, right now, we might as well just go for it. All right, Gomez. Let's feed that one back inside. Alan Kulisevsky, run away, run away. All right, Alan wants it in there. Sorry, David wants it in the hole. There you go, Dinya. Little flick back towards Gomez. Little space in here for Allen. Inside to David. It's all a little bit too much there. And this is where it gets hard. Really, really difficult when you can... Oh, hang on a minute. Left a bit of a hole there. Jolington. Now we've uh, left a huge hole down this side to Hendrick. Don't want to do anything too crazy. I've given another penalty. I need a stop. Diving in. Oh my goodness, the, the penalties are all over the place in this game. Well, not this game, this gameplay mod, but it is a penalty, do you know what I mean? I can't even say it isn't, look. It just... You don't dive in. Well, it's Shelby against Olsen. Olsen saved the last one. Can he save this one? Oh my goodness me, you're not saving that. You are not saving that. What a penalty by Shelby that is absolute belter and it seems like our home form we are struggling here it is again I mean it's a penalty I caught his feet and then look at this for a penalty right off the underside of the bar that that's convincing right there concentration sets his sights boom nearly broke the net Looking to swing it round. Well done, Mbabu. I don't know. I like Mbabu. He seems like he can play in the middle. He can even play him as a centre-back, although he's not really meant to play there. Just does the job. <laughs> does the job. And then he does that job. I shouldn't talk. Close your mouth. Now it's him against St. Maximin. It's a good race. Some trickery. Delivered in towards the near post. Targets it away. Comes back towards Shelby, and thankfully, thankfully, because he can strike them. Come on, Shalov, up you get. That's a good header. All right, Kulisevsky. Side to Allen. Calvert-Lewin. Touches it inside, Shalov with the ball over the top. David, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So close. We just, we need to find Calvert-Lewin's feet more. I think that's ultimately going to have to be something we look into. He needs to just give the ball to his feet. Let him hold it up. Let him do what he does. Newcastle get more into this. They've got a little bit of confidence now after that penalty. Kulisevsky's missed it. And the ball's delivered near post. And there we go. Let's get this one out fast and quick and uh, launch it out to no one. I mean, Dinya's probably going to come off soon. Or saying that, he's done well there. Go on, Shalov, go. You're in. Oh, the touch was nearly perfection. Just didn't quite get the rub of the green. Another long searching pass. But, you know, we are missing Mina. We are missing Klosterman and Hamez and the frustrations of having so many players injured as Mbabu went for the spectacular clearance. 
So we're going to have to make changes. Players are tired. We're, you know, we're lacking players today. Gordon comes on and Keane. Yeah, 24 minutes and not liking this. This is when it's a struggle. When you don't have the players that you want, you have to do what you can. Gomez towards Allen. David. Yeah, I need some movement. Keane to Mbabu. I mean, look, we've got to get this in the box. We've got to get it in the box. Well done, Mbabu. I'd rather be able to whip it in. He's already on a yellow, you know. He's already on a yellow. Okay, I mean, it, it would be harsh to send him off for that because I thought initially the yellow was a bit harsh. But he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. All right, well, we're going to have to have Shalov take this one and hope and pray here that someone gets on the end of this one. Ah. It's back to Allen. Well done, Allen. Brilliant feet. Still going. Now, how's the de ball in? Shalov! Oh, yeah, yeah. Side to Allen. All right, now, Gordon, make the run. We're not making the run. Everyone's pushing forward, and now it's a chance for Newcastle. Here comes Shelby. Gale. Flicks it back to Shelby. Nice football, this. Tar's going to come across. And Gordon has. So who's Gordon? I don't know who Gordon is. Well, we know who Gordon is, but that's not who I was meant to say. I was meant to say the goalie. I forgot his name. Olsen. <laughs> and a change for Newcastle as Frazier comes on. Well, Shallow's going to come off. Still waiting to see him click in the gear, but Luigi comes on. All right, well, we literally have no one else to take this but Luigi. Now, our only, we either shoot this or we look for someone like Tar. I don't know. I, I don't think he's going to score from here. I think we try this. Here we go. Tar is in there. It's delivered towards Tar. Corner ref will take the corner. No, it's a goal kick. So, with only 12 minutes left. All to play for here. We drop more points at home. It's, it's not going to be good news. Here is Allen. David, ref, come on. How are you not going to give the foul for that? And this is where you're going to get more fouls at this stage of the game because Newcastle have gone now, uh, they've gone, you know, part the bus mode. That's They've gone Jose Mourinho all day. They're fine with that. They have the lead thanks to a silly penalty that we gave away. And now look at them just playing around with it. Although saying that, that's not a great pass. Andre Gomez will get there. And we've got a chance to break here with Allen. Come on, Allen. Flicks it out wide towards David. Nice little turn. Certainly got a few players in there, Luigi. That's not even where I aimed. Yeah, he's furious. I did not aim over there. <sighs> Come on. Good play by David. And then, I mean, the ball was a little bit further than I wanted. I did not aim. I, I, aimed, I aimed at the school bus, apparently. At least a yellow card, thank you very much. And there it is, in to Zibuk. Great play by Luigi though, isn't he? He's still got something about Luigi, still something about him that you love. All right, well, we're going for the same kind of thing here, but we're going to actually try and find uh, Calvert-Lewin on this one. Let's see if he can... Referee just bundled him out of the way. Now here comes Mbabu with a chance. Hendricks wins it, and we will take the corner. All right, well, we're going to have to just just gonna get this one in here. Let's see what we can do. It is fired in. It's towards Luigi. It's missed everyone, and it's another corner. All right, we're going to go back post once again. If we can get something, even a draw at this point would not be a bad result. There it is, David! Oh. How has it stayed out, folks? Come on, look at this. That block right there. I mean, it probably was going in the goalie's arms. Uh, all right, well, I keep having the wrong player take these corners, so Andre Gomez back to it. Let's do this once again. See what happens. Ball's delivered in. Looking for Tart. Comes back to Calvin Lewin. Oh, it's cleared off the line by the keeper. Gordon. Allen. All right, get wide on Babu. Get wide. There he is. Up against Frazier. And Babu's got the legs. Can't believe this. One of the... It's, it's amazing... Oh, let's just say goalkeeping there. But it's amazing how... And this is Pez, man. This is... This is what Pez is all about. No games are the same. Especially after having to make plenty of changes to the lineup. It's, it's not made this match any easier than it should be. 
and we should not be dropping points at home and Newcastle still so many players behind the ball Allen towards Mbabu we've just got to get this in now come on Mbabu got to be a good ball in and it's too close to the keeper we still have a couple of minutes hurry up Woodman smash it away he does so we've been all over Newcastle we'd love to see the stats after this game Luigi why are you running away why are you running away I don't even know Holgate come on one final throw here Gomez Calvert-Lewin don't really want to be giving it to him there because he needs to get in the box Gordon Andre Gomez and Babu come on and Babu we get a penalty now deliver it in looks for Luigi David shoot the ball David <laughs> Oh, and that's 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 frustrating, folks. I've shrunk in my chair. I mean, gee, right there, the goal. Honestly, the goalie saved them. The goalie saved them at the end there. Seven attempts to four. I mean, it wasn't clear-cut chances, but the disappointment is there all day. And Shelby, man of the match. Oh well, once again, consistency all over the place right now. Uh, Leeds 1, Aston Villa 0, Fulham lost and Bournemouth 4-0. Once again, Bournemouth, they beat us, they lost and they won 4-0. Leicester 3, West Ham 1, Watford 0, Brighton 0. Man United did draw, however. Chelsea drew against Man City, which is great. Arsenal beat Crystal Palace, Wolves beat in Norwich. And uh, Southampton lost to Tottenham, so... Yeah, I mean, we're third, but the problem is, guys, if we still have to play Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham again, Arsenal, Man United, we still have to play all the top teams. I don't know. It's going to be a tough, tough, tough end to the season. But we're in third place right now, point ahead of City. And, yeah, that certainly helped Newcastle out there now, out of relegation. So well done to Newcastle. Anyway, folks, we are going to return for the big one. The FA Cup quarterfinal taking on Liverpool. And yeah, what do I do about the gameplay mod? You guys let me know. Do you want me to keep this one or do you want me to go back to, you know, the default regular? Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know in the, uh, the comments below. Uh, Mina has fully recovered. So the other players are not fully recovered. I thought all my players should be back. Let's have a look here. No, Klosterman and Hammers are both still out for a day. All right. Well, the good news is, look at that. All the players are buzzing. And, uh, yeah, we should have a good lineup. But I don't know if we go for a 3-5-2 against Liverpool. You let me know that as well. Do we go back to a 4-5-1? The only the problem with the 4-5-1 is having all the forwards. Who do we play? Who do we not play? I don't know. We'll make a decision. Anyway, until next time, let me know. As I said, the gameplay mod, did you like it? Did you not? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, take care.